Saudi Arabia started building their own Super League in 2023. Ronaldo, Neymar, Benzema and two dozen other football superstars have agreed to move to the Middle East. In this video, Inside Football explains how all these players live in a completely new world and how the Saudis managed to lure them to their country in various ways. Subscribe to the channel and make yourself comfortable. Let's get started! First, a little context. The rapid development of Saudi football with crazy spending on players began in 2023 as part of the Saudi Vision 2030 program. Its goal is to diversify the economy, as at the moment the country is fully reliant on oil sales. And football is one of the important pillars of this program. Saudi Arabia has declared a goal to get 100 of the best foreign players in their league within the next five years. This information was published by Sky Sports. And we must admit, they started very well. If you look at transfer mark at the time of creating this video, there are 24 players in the Saudi Pro League worth 10 million euros or more. 23 of them moved here in 2023. Not bad! Obviously, players will not go to play in Saudi Arabia for nothing, and Saudis are well aware of this. Of course, their advantage is the ability to play huge salaries as the country's four major clubs, Al Ali, Al Hilal, Al Irihad, and Al Nasser, are actually run by the state. This means that money flows there directly from the oil well. But not all players can be lured by money only. You either need to offer something else or you need to pick the right moment and take advantage of different circumstances in the player's career to bring him to your league. And in this matter, the Saudis have shown themselves really smart. We divided all the players who moved to the Saudi Pro League in 2023 into three categories. All these groups had their own additional reasons, besides financial, to accept the offer from Arabia. Let's briefly analyze them. The first category is the elite of world football. This includes Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, and Karim Benzema. In addition to huge salaries, the Saudis have created royal living conditions for them. They are literally treated like demigods. We will talk about how these three live specifically in the second part of this video, so be sure to watch it to the end. You're not gonna believe some of the things we will show there. The second category is veterans. These are players who are over 30 years old. This includes Sadio Mane, Riyad Mahrez, Roberto Firmino, N'Golo Kante, and others. The Saudis have prepared not only money, but also long-term contracts for these players. It's no secret that in Europe, it would be difficult for them to get a deal not only on such financial conditions, but also long-term. In the Saudi Pro League, they all have contracts for at least three years. This is an extremely important aspect for a player at the final stage of his career. The third category is top players from not top clubs. This category includes players in their prime but who did not play for the biggest clubs. It includes the likes of Ruben Neves, Sergei Milinkovic Savic, Seko Fofana, and Alain Saint Maximin. At their level, they could have played in top clubs, but they did not get there for various reasons. For example, Navish did not receive a decent offer in Europe and Milinkovic Savic overstayed at Lazio. So, having the opportunity to be one of the main superstars, earning a sky-high salary, was a great chance for them to feed their egos and fight for trophies at last. These are the three main categories of players targeted by Saudi clubs. Of course, the second and third categories are the ones to focus on because stars like Ronaldo and Neymar are luxury items and there are a limited number of them. The Saudis seem to be well aware of this and find players who fit these criteria. Indeed, if you look at the list, only Fabinho and Kessia moved to Saudi Arabia from top clubs and were under 30 years old. We can see that they were lured solely by wages. In particular, Fabinho received about 10 million euros a year in Liverpool and in Al-Irihad, he has 23. Besides, 
He has rich, chic fans who can present a Rolex for several hundred thousand dollars at any time. In general, the Saudis have been able to influence football quite a bit in recent months. Currently, 8 out of the 10 highest paid football players in the world are in Saudi Arabia. Who are the other two? Messi and Mbappe. Crazy! By the way, friends, please like this video if you have become more interested in the Saudi Pro League lately, given the transfers of all these stars. And now, the conditions that the Saudis have set up for their biggest stars, as promised. Cristiano, Ney and Karim have a status similar to that of princes. Such players, in addition to their quality on the football pitch, also promote the entire country in the media, and this is almost the highest priority for Arabia at the moment, so they are treated like real kings. Let's start with Neymar. The Brazilian has just signed a contract with Al Hilal with a salary of 100 million euros per season. That's 3 euros every second. Imagine picking your nails and earning 20 euros during this time. But the salary is just the tip of the iceberg. Just look at what he got in addition. For a start, he received a 25-bedroom house with a large swimming pool. The Brazilian was also presented with three luxury cars. Bentley Continental GT, Aston Martin DBX, Lamborghini Huracan. He also has five full-time employees for housekeeping and a personal driver available 24-7. Do you think that's all? Haha, <laughs> no! The Brazilian was also provided with a personal jet for traveling. In addition, the club pays for all the hotels, restaurants, and other services that the Brazilian wants on his days off. And the icing on the cake is 500,000 euros for each post on social media in which he promotes Saudi Arabia. Tell us, how many of you would be able to refuse this? It's easy to assume that Cristiano Ronaldo has similar conditions. But we have already made a separate video about how the Portuguese lives in Arabia, and we will leave a link to it at the end of this episode. However, there are other things that emphasize Cristiano's special status in the country. In particular, the local amusement park was closed for several hours so that Ronaldo and his family could have an exclusive vacation there. By the way, Cristiano's contract is twice as expensive as Neymar's. The Portuguese receives 200 million euros per season, equal with Karim Benzema. However, this case says much more about Ronaldo's status than his salary or living conditions. In the semi-finals of the Arabian Champions League, Cristiano scored a penalty and crossed himself celebrating the goal. The fact is that in Saudi Arabia, it's forbidden to publicly show affiliation with any religion other than Islam. A person can be imprisoned for violating this law. But Cristiano just got away with it. Of course, the Portuguese is probably the most influential media personality in the country. His status is really equivalent to royalty. In the end, it was CR7 who influenced the arrival of all the other stars, and he's not shy about talking about it. I opened the way to the Saudi League last January, and now all the players are coming here, the Portuguese said recently. But the stars themselves acknowledge all this. I believe it was Cristiano Ronaldo who started it all. Everyone called him crazy, and today you see the league growing more and more, Neymar said at his presentation as Al Hilal player. It's also important that Cristiano Ronaldo is in Saudi Arabia, because he is a very big player. He brings a lot to the game in this country and that will further elevate their playing level," Karim Benzema said. So, realizing the media importance of Ronaldo, Benzema and Neymar, we can safely say that these three will be pilloried. In some cases, they will even be above the law. That's how far the Saudis are willing to go to popularize their league and have a good image in the eyes of the invited stars. Friends. Write in the comments whether you believe that the Saudi Pro League will become one of the top 5 world leagues in the next few years. Also, watch other videos from our channel, including the one about Cristiano Ronaldo's life in Saudi Arabia. That was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. We'll catch up with you soon. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.